You'll do it because it must be done. You'll do it because nobody else can. If you tell me that's not enough, I won't believe you. This is what has always set our people apart. A thousand years of sacrifice in our veins. And every generation must know its own suffering. Because it must be done. Um, I'll do respect to a lot of brothers that I know because I'm a staunch Pan-African and I have a lot of respect for my non ADOS brothers and I've been a Pan-African all my life been on the ground and protested and talked to and cajoled tried to convince people and some people that weren't us that our future was Africa to set our mother free which is Mama Africa alright my credentials do not have to be it's a Pan-African, don't even have to be questioned. I have a whole group that's been behind us and done this, you know, for years. And this is like 30 years. All my partners have been over there, We've been to Egypt with Dr. Ben, and been to South Africa and led protests to free uh, the South Africans. So this is, you know, I'm not even saying what the, what the credentials are. So I, so I've got come with a pedigree. But I want to get some bullshit straight because this is this is not going to be nice, okay? All you motherfuckers talking about nine ados and ados is trash and it's bullshit off here. And the mother motherfuckers, you should be leading the goddamn thing. In the spirit of Marcus Garvey, you shouldn't be protesting, you shouldn't be fighting it, you should be leading the goddamn thing. That's where you should be. Pan Africanism is a two way street. If ados brothers deserve reparations deserve their just due you should be leading it instead of fighting it instead of back backbiting it and bad mouthing it and should have jumped on the ignorant bastard uh shilling for the goddamn democratic party because you know that's that's what the fuck he's doing he's kissing ass for the democratic party you're more worried about your goddamn positions than what's in your pocket instead of doing the goddamn right thing that's what i know that's what it is you're afraid you're gonna lose something you forget there was African Americans that were were tried to even against their governments to go over to, to fucking uh, uh, Ethiopia and fight for them. They fought to allow black people here from the islands because they didn't want no black people. We fought for people to come to the goddamn uh, to America from the islands. We fought for Africans to come over here for many years. We've done the work. We've been protesting for Haiti to get Disney and those motherfuckers off, off, off the Haitians back, off of Cuba's back, off of Ghana's back. A lot of people put their asses on the goddamn line, put their reputations on the line. And whether you like them or not, even the politicians put their reputations on the line to try to go down and do something for the Africans. And then, were they always right? No. But you talk about them and what they didn't do instead of talking about your own goddamn leaders that betrayed you. They're still betraying you. But here in America, you know what the fuck we have to put up with here, here in the United States. And you know the history because you went to school, you've been here. And just like we would protest the French or the British or whoever, wherever the fuck you came from to actually protest for your goddamn rights, your reparations and your money back, we would be the first person in line to sign a petition, march, protest to get you your goddamn money knowing that we would never see a cent of it but you forget all of a sudden when it comes out of your pocket then you don't think black people deserve anything that's really what it is that's really what it is you don't think that the suffering of Ados or Af well, the Negro which is the actual proper term the Negro for 400 years is not worth reparations that's really what it is and what it is really is, is that you're afraid that the, that the Negro who suffered for 400 years uh, get their cut because you won't get any. That's the goddamn problem. All of a sudden, when it looks like the Negro is going to get something for himself from his government, not from you, from his government, without you getting a piece of it, oh, now you're not Ados. Oh, now, and now we're weaponizing Ados against you.
because you don't think you're going to get a piece of change. They have every right to protest their government for their for their cut of the pie. Every fucking right, because it's been signed into law. Black people in America have not got their just due since they fucking got here. Instead of you guys backbiting, protesting, calling Ados trash, you should be leaving the goddamn Ados line. You should be in front of the line, not in the back. Because you because you owe us. It's called reciprocation. You should shut the fuck up, get in front of the line, pick up a goddamn sign, and go down there and help these brothers protest for their goddamn money. Because if the re situation was reversed, be the first person come on over here asking for our goddamn help. Like every time we go over to the continent, you're asking for our goddamn help. Every single time, talk to the government, send us some money, help us get over to the United States, help us get a position, uh, 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 fight for our civil rights so we, so we can get into school, get into positions, because we are black people. If we all black people, we're all one, you should be the first one in the line to get your brother some money not the last I'm getting sick of this you call yourself goddamn Pan-African but when but Pan-African is only a, applied to when this money going in your pocket when you need a job when you need a position when you need somebody to fight for you to get in school when Harvard is coming after Harvard's coming after you or the police is kicking down your goddamn door then you want to be uh, 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 come to aid those folks that can actually help you out and hide in the community Stop fucking complaining. Stop fucking uh, backbiting and pick up the goddamn sign and uh, pick up the goddamn load, shoulder the load and help us. If you if you go on the side and you help us get what we need instead of backbiting, guess what will happen? It won't be weaponized against you. You should be the first one to say that these people here, citizens, black people here need to be paid, need to be taken care of need to get their brothers out of fucking prison before one dollar goes out of this country. Because if you were back in Barbados, if you were back in Jamaica, if you were back in Haiti, if you were back wherever, and your country was sending money over to the continent, but and when, while your kids are can't, uh, can't read, or your schools are trash, or your men are homeless, and your men don't have jobs, you'll be the first one to tell them, do not send a dime any place else until you crack what's at home. And I don't blame them. If I went to Haiti, Jamaica, Barbados, I would be the last one to get hired before a citizen would. And I would not say a word. I can't go to Ghana and get a job like a citizen can. I can't get citizenship or residency in, 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 in just about any part of Africa without going to, jumping through some goddamn hoops. They don't have a, a, an open door waiting for us. Let's not, let's not get this shit twisted. This is business. This is business. And you should be the first one in line, not the last. First one in line, not the last. And if you don't want to help, sit the, sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up and get your boy and have him sit down and shut the fuck up. If you ain't gonna help, sit on the sidelines and let us do our thing. Because all you're doing is help the white man not uh, give us what's due, which is what normally happens with black people. Stop acting like fucking crabs in a barrel. If we ain't organized, you should be the first one to help us organize, not the last. I, ain't going, I don't know how many times the, the brothers from the uh, those cats from from Britain have us come over to talk to them to give them ideas about how to fight white supremacy over there where you're at. Supposed to be kindred spirits. Not nan one of us would go over to to Great Britain help you fight for your rights or whatever you think that you deserve and ask for a penny because we're supposed to be brothers. And if you are our brothers, you need to start fucking acting like it. Because if it was my brother in a fight, my brother was getting his ass kicked. My brother didn't get what, it is, what he deserved. I wouldn't even question. I would run to him and find out what he needs. And I would fight with him like I'm supposed to. And if I couldn't help it, what I would do was I'd sit the fuck down and let him handle his business. I don't give a shit whether you ate us. I don't care where the fuck you come from. If you black, you should be in on this fight, helping the brothers here get what they need. Just like we would be over there helping you get what you need. That's the way it works. 
Normally, I don't speak up about this stuff because I think it'll work itself out. But I, I, I was telling a brother not too long ago that I knew this stuff would blow up because you have niggas doing nigga shit. Tali Kwabli Kwali is doing nigga shit. And you guys are helping helping him doing nigga shit. You tell him to shut the fuck up and sit down. That's the first thing you should have done. Because trust and believe that the next white boy that picks up an AK-47, he is not going to ask what island you came from. When that nightstick gets to go upside your head, he is not going to ask what island you came from. If you speak French, it's not going to stop him from going upside your fucking head. And you know it. But if you don't want to do this, hey, you know what? Plenty of, there's tons of flyover country with a lot of white folks. You go, go live next to them. Let us handle our business. Pisses me off. You think that you're so different from Ados. No, you're not. Same nigga shit all over the goddamn world. Same nigga shit in, in the goddamn, on the goddamn continent. You're proving the white man right. Think you're so clever. You think you're so above everybody else. That your culture, that where you come from, your culture is so much higher than ours. If that's the case, how come the Chinese are building infrastructure and you're not? I don't see, I don't see a vast majority of you guys headed to the continent. As engineers, oil workers, programmers, none of that shit. You're over here in the first world. Y'all over here in the, in the United States getting fat. So don't give me that bullshit. Get the fucking line. Help the brothers out. Help them get what they need. Help them handle their business. Because you know this shit's going to flow downhill like it always does. We win, you win. That's the way it's always been. We get civil rights, you get a piece of it. But you're too fucking dumb to figure that out. Because you done forgot you done got your nice cushy jobs, your nice education, and now you're going to look down on the rest of us. Okay. There's an old saying. Chances come around. The same people you meet up, you meet going up, are the same people you meet going down. Reparations are going to come one way or another. Anyway, let me jump off here. This is BGS out, and I will see you guys on another one. Peace.